What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the internet. I'll be your host, Diet Mountain Dew, and I'm here with myself, Diet Mountain Dew. And we're going to do an M19 draft today, like we do every day. Like you do, as the kids say. Hey, yes, packs are cheaper from bots. Packs from bots are like three, three point two four tickets, and uh, buying them from the store is just like four dollars straight up. If they had some sort of discount on packs, uh, if you bought like ten, you know that'd be great. I would definitely take advantage of that. However, if they did have that, presumably the price from bots would then lower because the value of the pack would go down. So I think it's almost impossible for... Yeah, that's a cool Mythic token. Uh, it's almost impossible for packs to be... To cost more tickets than they do in dollars. You know what I mean? Alright, so we're not taking Omniscience. For obvious reasons. Oh, I could see taking Declare Dominance, but this pack is pretty hot. Yeah, Declare Dominance is probably the best card in this pack. I could see Take take Vengeance being another consideration, but I think this card's better for blowouts. I'm going to take the Gloves here. It keeps us open, and I actually Luminous Bonds is pretty good. I'm going to take the Bonds here. Gloves will likely table, to be quite honest. Wishing I had known that a few hundred drafts ago. Oh, no. Oh, I'm, man, that's so sad. Now you know, though. So going forward, you're in good shape, I think. I want to take this Vigilant Bayloth. Actually, Star Crown Stag? Oh, we're going to go Star Crown Stag. That's got to be better than Bayloth. And... Rejuvenator? Seems good. Maybe that Tranquil Expanse or Rupture Spire would come back. Probably not Rupture Spire. Maybe Expanse, though. I would probably play an Expanse. Yeah, Stag is uh, Territorial Hammer Skull if it was a 3-3 instead of a 2-3. Amulet of butt keeping. I'm gonna take the bristling boar over the thorn hide wolves. Also, gallant cavalry, which I like a lot. Um, this guy's fine. Rupture spire is fine. Could let us splash the nickel bolus that we open in pack three or pack two. Skeletal archer is okay. Diamond mare not great uh, unless we're the black white deck. I think. I don't care about Rocks Oracle, but I think I'm just going to take the Rocks Oracle, especially with their Rejuvenator, because it's it's just fine. If we get Pegasus, it's even better. I'm going to take Recollect. It's just Regrowth, but for one more mana. It's not great, but I think it's actually probably... This format's slow enough to be playable. Like, we can return to Declare Dominance in the late game, or like a removal spell, and I think it's actually just fine. Plus, like... One of the things I do, which I get shit for in the YouTube comments, is trying things like this. Um, like, there was a time where I literally took Vigilant Bayloth over Grave, Grave Digger. And I even say in the draft, I know Grave Digger is probably the better pick. You guys are probably going to say something in the comments uh, about how Grave Digger is the best card ever. And so the first comment I get is someone saying, wow, Frank, Grave Digger is the best card ever. And, like, they're joking because they're just quoting what I say. And the next comment is someone that says, yeah, it's almost like he's getting worse the more he drafts the set. So for one, they didn't actually get the joke the first person was making about the video. And for two, they're criticizing a choice that I deliberately made. And I say in the video that I made it deliberately to to pick the, I'm, pick, I'm picking the weaker card to try it out. You know what I mean? So it's very weird when I get criticism for things like that because I'm like, but I'm I'm consciously doing it 
because I want to try this card out and see if it's good. So it's just weird to me. I was like, but you're responding to a to to not only someone making a joke about it, but I also tell you I'm it's not I'm not I'm not doing it. Be, it's not that I don't recognize that that Gravedigger is the better card. I recognize that. I'm just choosing to not take it to try something different. That is yeah. We're gonna take the plummet too. These are like just like the um, just like Dominaria. These are the very very solid sideboard cards. Whatever. I'll take this oak. Eh, I don't actually dislike Knight of the Tusk that much. All right. Don't ever hypocriticize me. I'll just take the wall. We're not gonna play the other. Oh, I guess we're taking this. Oh, you took too long, dubby. Oh, my bad. Oh, isolate. That's a that's a solid pick. I'm just gonna take stag number dose. I can never have too many stags, if you know what I mean. We don't have any two drops yet? My god. This card's splashable. Pretty sure it's either Highland Game or Pegasus. I think Pegasus is the uh significantly better card, although I do like having a two drop here. The YouTube comments is actually where you find most of the best magic players. <laughs> uh, it's gotta be Pegasus. I don't love it, but I'll, I'll do it. I'll deal with it. I'm gonna take this Colossal Dreddy McDredderson, which has proven to be a card that like, just kills so many people. All right, now we can take this guy. What's happening? One Frank... <laughs> oh, one Frank therapy bug. I accept that. Especially because you guys are super therapeutic. Uh, Alright. How many Aether Shield Artificers have we seen go by this draft? Like 40? I mean, I'm just going to take this plummet because we don't really need any main deck cards here. Yeah, I'll take another two drop. All right, well. Yeah, Invoke and Plummet were definitely main deckable in Dominaria. 1,000%. I don't think they are so much in M19. But, I don't know. Is this our... 14 plus 7, that's 21. I thought this was our first pack again. Is this our first pack? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, this can't be our first pack. Is this just the same exact pack we had? I'll take the Isolate because it's a rare, but... I'm going to take this Foul Orchard in case we get something good when we want to splash it. Like, the green and, and white is drying up pretty, uh, pretty aggressively here. Oh, there's our first pack. We found it again. Now we can get that second Isolate. I don't want this. I don't care about these two. Maybe it's Field Creeper? It's definitely not, right? It's so bad. Why can't the plus one, plus seven be an enchantment? Oh, that's that's reasonable. I'll play that. I'm not gonna play you. Get the hell out of here. Revitalize is okay. I mean, it it cycles and it gains you three. And if you have any sort of life matters cards, then it's all right. But I don't know. Magic's hard, man.
sure. You're just better than the other guy, but you're, I'm probably not playing you. Yep, you're not good either. Yep, you're not good either. <laughs> but Digger is the best. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. D-Face, sometimes all you need to say is a D-Face. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. All right, you ready? Nope. That's not good. Uh, it's not good. I'm going to take this Druid of the Cowl. That was a pretty easy pick because that pack was also terrible. What happened to eating pizza on stream? Well, first off, I never agreed to that. And second, that pizza was raw, unfortunately. There was a Gallant Cavalry. I think Druid is stronger than Gallant Cal Cavalry. We had like six decent picks from this pack. The thing is, I didn't really feel like there were other cards that we were just like, wow, I'm so sad to be passing this. I feel like these packs have been, in general, pretty rough. Uh, don't care about you. I do like gloves. I like Starcrown Steed number three. That's pretty good. We're probably just going to take you. <laughs> Triple Steeds is pretty good. I missed the raw pizza resolution. Did that one go back as well? That one did not go back. The second one, we just, like, didn't care. I sent an email to Hungry Howie's. And I'm just waiting for them to get back to me. Can we have Mike B pizza on stream? No one wants this. If Mike B ate pizza on stream, most of it uh, would would end up on on his clothes. Oh, oh boy, that's a that's a rare that we want to be opening. Uh, or getting past. Yeah, we're taking this block worm faux show, especially when we got this rejuvenator and this druid of the cowl. Easy pick. What about hunter? Hunter, hunter, we can have. Looks like we're splashing, boys. Could just take another Druid of the Cowl. I don't know if this card's good. It's a 3-5 Flyer with Vigilance for 4. What does it say? Each creature you control is Defender. <laughs> How many walls we got? Oh man, I wish we picked that wall instead of the stupid Tolly lost in the first pack. Now we only have one wall. Shieldmare is good, but I'd probably just take Druid of the Cowl number two, especially when we have a Plock Worm. Um, oh, God, do I just pass this? It doesn't go for anything. None of these cards are worth anything. I'm not going to splash this guy, though, especially because we don't have any, like, Rabid Bites or anything. I would just take the Druid here. Oh, these green rares are, are OP. Oh, this is this is this is coming together, boys. Would you have made any changes to Ollie's Esper Nexus Fate? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Probably, but I'd have to think about it. Yeah, this pack has been gas. I'm going to take this Pegasus Courser number three, just because with Gigantosaur, Colossal, and Palaka Worm, it's very, very good. Uh, I, I could see taking Murderer's Axe, but our guys are pretty big naturally, so I don't really feel like that's... Actually, Bookcase is not terrible for us, and if the Arcade's wheels, maybe we play it. I don't know. But Bookcase making like 10 ton unblockable is a pretty quick clock. I could see splashing this for this guy or this guy and taking out the, the Recollect. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to take Fire Finish. 
I don't need you to be fiery finishing my Palaka Worms, whoever you are. Stranger. Eh, let's take Scepter. How does the worm get on the Pegasus? Hey, buddy, this isn't that kind of stream. Uh, I like Root Snare. I mean, I don't like it. I like having it in the sideboard, so. Fountain of Renewal, I will take you as well. It's 24 pick, 24 cards. We can probably take out one Highland game. I think gear per guard is better. One gear per guide is better than Highland game number three. We're probably going to add one. Oh, we're probably going to cut Knight of the Tusk. Double green is not where we want to be. Or double white, rather. To the surprise of no one, the uh, arcades did not come back. Actually, maybe Knight is good. I think Knight is probably good enough. It just requires us to have a lot more white sources, which makes this guy harder to cast. But you got to keep in mind that even if we have seven mana and two of it is not green, even a, a 10 ton on turn seven is still good. I, I do kind of like Recollect in the deck, though. I think this is good. This is all 18, 18 creatures. I'd rather have this because it gets back uh, Luminous Bonds or something. We don't have much removal, but... So we're going to add Foul Orchard, one Swamp, five White Sources, is that enough? We do have a Rejuvenator. I think that's actually fine. Done. We'll see if Big Dumb Idiots Deck can get there. Thirty nine force gigantosaur seems pretty good. I just spilled a bunch of Mountain Dew that did not make it into my mouth. I have no idea how life works. Oh, this hand is where you want to be. Keep it. Sneep. I don't care about that little bird. That do was too extreme. <sighs> Looks like our turn four is going to be pretty lit. This guy into this guy. I would just like to request declare dominance on that 10 10 once in three matches. Uh, I'd rather put it on a small guy so that the 10 10 can get through, but if the 10 10 is going to demolish their board, far be it for me to. Uh... Beans and cornbread. Well, they don't have the counterspell color, so at least this guy's going to resolve. Well, we already have five. We already have five white, five green sources, so I'm not too concerned with this extra forest now, which is nice. Can we watch you eat beans in court? But you can watch me, but you have to find a way to do it. I'm not going to stream it, perverts. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Beans and cornbread. If they had rabbit bite, it's pretty scary. 
But the problem with if they have rabbit bite is if they that that easily gets rid of one guy. And then they can easily get rid of the second as well. I'm just gonna play this guy. Don't make eye contact while eating your beans and cornbread. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Considering our opponent's name is Killahunt, I have a feeling they do have some rabbit bites in there while they slowly hunt us down with this poison tip archer. The minute you eat something other than snacky food is the day I un that's a lie. That's a that's a dang lie. I want to block here. Oh. Oh, biscuits. Huh. Yeah, well, we can wait. We got time. You're on my TV and my computer. You're everywhere. I'm taking over. Oh, that guy has reach. Well, that's a thing. I did not know about this gentleman's reach. But, I accept it. I accept your reach. I actually didn't know that. That guy does too many things. And it does too many things. I think I probably knew that, but then I just forgot about it because I was like... This is a stupid ability anyway. Oh, why would you play the... Why would you spend black for that? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I'm a fan of everything. That's just great. Flat tire when you change my deck. Spent 45 minutes with that. Thank God I was near a tire. Matthew Ori, you have the worst luck, buddy. You're right. It actually is. Like Multani having reach. I think they're dead now. Boy, that seven life was real helpful. This is where they go land, rabbit growth, rabbit, rabbit bite, rabbit bite. Two little rabbit bites. I spent all day being completely normal and all I want to do is creepily watch someone eat food for five minutes and all of a sudden I'm weird. Well, see, you didn't specify the duration. So I wasn't sure if you were going to watch me eat food for hours or if it's just a few minutes of good wholesome food eating. You know what I mean? So... Does that do it? Oh, blown out by the dominance. And they don't even get to see this guy. Um, Plummet's cool. I want to bring an A Plummet because you had a bunch of nerds. A bunch of float nerds. None of which I really care about, but maybe you got a Pegasus Charger in there too. August should be Multani Reach Awareness Month. Also, I feel like the... Um, oh, we're halfway there. I'll keep this hand. I feel like it should be actually uh, Poison Tip Archer Reach Awareness Month, right? Because Multani is no longer as relevant. No offense, Multani. If we had a fetch land, that'd be great. Then we could recollect our fetch land. Really? Turn two. Rustwing. Falcone. Okay, we just going to need to hit lands forever. Three lands in a row, and I'm, I'll, take, I'll take them if they're all green, because then we can go Guide, Boar, Gigantosaur. Guide boar gigantosaur. That's a that's a fat rhyme we came up with. <sighs> Sorry. I want to discard the recollect because you know. Mm. 
There he is. There's, it's your boy. Oh, look, we did it. We are so good at this game. I'm just going to put this on here. Sure. The funny thing is we're not very far behind. Land. Oh, you're doing it. We're doing it. It's all happening. Actually, it might have been stag there. Oh, I see. I'm actually just going to block this, I think. Yeah, I don't want to take five here. I'll just block. Then you got to recast this next turn. We'll play Pegasus Courser. Everything will be fine. What is going on here, dude? God, I wish I had a land here, because then we can play a guy and keep up Plummet for when they invariably put the equipment on one of these guys. I'm just going to pass here and, and Plummet one of these things. Oh, I see. Well, that's special. Not the one I'd prefer, but I would like to get not take a million here, so. I feel like we always win game one handily, lose game two because we don't actually get to play magic, and then we end up winning game three because our deck just ends up doing what it's supposed to do. One, two, so they're going to lose four here. And then if we kill anything, we automatically take another point. I don't really want to block one, three twos with a, with a one million three I don't know what these words are I don't know what these words are that are coming out of my mouth are but guess we'll take four that was an ironic draw Can't even attack here, really. I think we're dead. Really? I wouldn't have blocked that guy anyway. Oh, I guess, I, yeah, that's probably better. Because if I put in, if you put on the other guy, it's just doesn't do anything. Yeah, we're going to scoop here. Well, both plummets are coming in, surprisingly. Uh, let's get the recollect. It's got reach. Huh. I don't actually hate Wall of Vines here, to be honest. Oh, actually, if we're taking out the black, we can add more. Ah, oh, dang it. Nah, I can't keep that. This is this is rough, but I'm going to keep it because I don't want to go to five here. This seems bad. <laughs> nice. Vines on deck. Land. Not a land, but reasonable if we hit a land, so. Uh, I didn't feel like naturalize is that great. We only saw, the only card we actually care about naturalizing is um, the Murderer's Axe. Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna naturalize Thorn of Talons or Talons of Thorns or whatever they are because they're bad and they can just get them back. Yep. If we can just hit lands for the rest of the game, I think we'll be okay. Okay, well, Highland game is a thing, I guess. I 
I can't believe we're losing to the one one flyer deck. Uh, they're actually one two flyers. Thank you very much. They sure are. Well, that's cute. Burn, 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 burn. Yep, keep blocking. This is a ridiculous amount of one one dudes. I'm I'm utterly amazed right now. One, two, three, four, five. Seems fine. Yep, that is a card I don't really care about. It's a lot of tiny gentlemen. That's actually very helpful. All right, one land we can play Palaka Worm. Two lands, and we are drawing too many lands. Oh yeah, hundred percent block. They're also doing all this with three lands, which is pretty fascinating. This is a great use of two Highland games. We actually gain a life here. Oh, cool. The turn I was going to play Palaka Worm is the turn you get that guy. How nice. Seems good. All right, that's fine. <laughs> oh boy. All right, that'll do. Oh, reach. I don't think they're attacking anymore, which is nice. <sighs> what did they just do? Oh, they returned to... Oh, they had a second Talons? Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Block you and block you. One, two, three, four. One green away from playing a Gigantosaur, which actually puts us pretty reasonably back in the game. 
So now we can just tap this guy down when we attack with these three. And we're at 14, so that's good. Yep, this guy's getting a little rambunctious here. Sure. I feel like declared dominance is getting real close to just winning us the game. Yep. Where's a plummet when you need one? It's on the bottom of your deck where you put it. Okay, that's fair. Not the color we needed. So, actual blank. Actually, I don't even think we need this guy right now. Okay, let's tap you. Oh, you just take 10 here. That's aggressive. This is where they have their own declared dominance, right? <laughs> Put it on one guy. And they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's exactly lethal. Okay, they can't have inspiring charge, so that's good. Is it too much to ask for this to be a uh, an 04? Well, that's a thing. Take vengeance, huh? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like attack with everything. <laughs> That's pretty brutal. As we take one, two, three, four, heck, we block here. We take one, two, three. Match is really stupid. And we can't actually queue up Titanic Growth and play Gigantosaur in the same turn. I think we actually just play Gigantosaur and pass. Like getting in for three doesn't really do anything. Our decks always feel great and then we end up losing in the first round like to some, something stupid. Like something really, really dumb. And it's getting real, real ridiculous. To be fair, if this is another forest, if we actually sideboarded correctly and we... It's been like little, little mistakes that we end up kicking ourselves for. Like if this was the forest, if we boarded this out because we boarded the only black card out, uh, we could have played this a lot sooner. Probably like four turns ago. Like, they just alpha here, and we're dead, right?
Yeah. Like, this keeps us alive. Wait, what else did they attack with? Oh, it has Trample and Death Touch, so it only has to deal one to us. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, for, come on. <sighs> Whatever. But, like, I'm gonna be honest, that deck seemed terrible. Like, four rusty Warhawks and, like, a... Oh, God. <laughs> Multiple Talons, also a plus one, plus one Talons. Oh, I hate to... I hate to... I really hate to, like, bemoan my opponent's deck, but... It just did not seem great. Yeah, of course they had lethal on board. I mean, like, five creatures are going to die. And the one, like, the guy is definitely... Gonna deal two damage. Yeah, that seems fine. Any land on top we're keeping. Oh, you gotta go, unfortunately. Oh, agree to disagree then. Four plus Rust Talk puts you in a solid place in this format. I. That is fascinating. Is this real life? Is this just fantasy? We're gonna take this rise out. It's just not worth the splash. Oh boy, we're having a good time. confused about what's going on here. This is pretty miserable. <laughs> I'm not having a good time here. Oh, Mike's not here. Yeah, I thought Rise would be a great splash when we had cards like uh, Triple Starcrown Stag, a Palaka Worm, a Gigantosaur in our deck, but um, seems no. Can't even, like, it doesn't even do anything if we do that. Oh, we just actually leave ourselves open to them attacking with Drill Masters and the Loxon Linebreaker as well. Which is pretty bad. It's an interesting choice, but... I guess if I can't kill it, then there's no point in not doing that. What did you fuck up sex? 
We're real close. Yeah, we're probably just blocking with the bookcase at this point. If we hit a land, we get to play Palaka Worm, which is pretty strong. Or I can actually double block. I imagine they'll kill the stag, or they just don't attack at all. All right, well. All right. A reprieve has been had. We're alive. And we have a recollect for this guy. And we have a rise. All right, so now the rise is totally fine. Now it looks great. I don't know what that means. Blocking with the bookcase. These are amazing times, my friends. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Please don't bounds us. I feel like if they had bounds, they probably would have used it on one of these two earlier when they had both of these guys in play, right? Like, just to get in there. And we're definitely attacking with Palaka Worm. Because we have multiple other things we can cast here. What's better than a Palaka Worm? A floating Palaka Worm. Yes! Yes! <laughs> you have no idea what you've done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we're one shy. I think we just take six here. I don't really want to block with any of these guys. Yeah, I think that's fine. Unless you have plus one, plus one, and double strike, in which case you just kill us. But, uh... Give me that sweet life. Do 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 do. It's more where that came from. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, double locks on line breaker deck. That's interesting. Oh, we're definitely bringing in the third Highland game now. That's also don't forget that's what Rudolph uh, wasn't allowed to play in all the Highland games. Oh, I'm pretty sure we declare dominance on Palaka Worm. All right, that'll do. Wow. Highland game, you can come in. We also have we have a ton of like blockers. We have like s seven two drop blockers. Definitely didn't mind the rise there later that game. Also, exile, exiling their one drop when they had a bunch of enchantments on it would have been cool. Hmm. They said, of course. I don't know what that means. 557. What happened? Oh, we cast Palaka Worm. And then they, they probably said, of course, after that. Sure. I mean, yeah. Hmm. 
I don't, I'm not a big Gruber guide fan in the in the two in the two uh, two power matchup. Hand looks great. I will keep it. I wish we got white mana as easily as we got black mana in this deck. God. This one drop uncommon to these two ones is something else. Okay. Okay. Do we just play this guy? I wonder. Infectious horror. Interesting. That's a big boy. Yeah, we'll just hold this guy back. Okay, so no inspiring charge. That's interesting. <laughs> Didn't know my ex was a magic card. Wow. Wow. Brutal. Oh, I see. Well, that's unbeatable next turn if we don't have a, an answer, which we actually don't in our main deck. That's incredible. Well, I'll be. Did not expect that. That was pretty weird. I actually forgot we had this in our deck. Hmm. I was gonna, I was gonna be like, hey, we should, we're probably gonna bring in these, uh, both of these, these plummets, just for this one card. When you just have it all, perfect fixing with no help, exactly the ramp in order. That's nice. Um. Okay. <laughs> I guess. I wasn't neg it wasn't negativity. It was just me responding to the card. I said we don't have an answer to that at all in our deck. I mean that's not being negative, that's me just assessing the threat. Like <laughs> Uh, 
I will keep this hand. I always just send back? What does that mean? Oh, send back heart. Gotcha. I get that, like, I get I get salty just as much as anyone else, guys, and you know that. I will get salty in Magic games where I don't get to play, you know, quote-unquote, don't get to play Magic. But, like, I don't understand the appeal of typing that and being like, hey, way to go, butt munch. Like, I just don't get it. Just close the window, vent a little bit to yourself, and walk away, you know? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to, like, berate someone. I should have told him. I, I should have told him. I was like, I don't, I look, I didn't think I had any answers to this, and I top decked this. So, you know. The rich get richer, am I right? Says the guy with like six event tickets. I'll just take two. Like you could have Nightmare Thirst, you could have Mighty Leap. We could have Luminous Bonds. I'd much rather block with this suspicious bookcase. How creepy. Highland Game is like a child of night that's like, you know what? I see that you have lifelink, but I'll do that. One time. I'll do it once. You kind of did Munch's butt that game, though. <laughs> oh, good times. Take vengeance. Interesting. I guess you're blocking now. Still no blocks. All right. I don't actually want to recollect here, but... I don't have any mana, and if I draw a land next turn, I'd rather just be able to play this and go to five. Like, we win this game by getting to this guy, so. One, two, three, four, five. Doesn't do anything for us on six, so I'll just play Pegasus as well. That is one suspicious bookcase. Oh, it must be nice. I don't know what it's like to have it all, all the time, every time, always. Blah. Am I doing this correctly? Get in there with this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Any land we get to play Palaka Worm, which is pretty. I'll take it, and then I'll worm. Give me that worm, boy. Just because it's a 5-5 five, five lifelink flyer that poops out Sarah Angels, no biggie. Yeah, you're right. No problem. NP. What's it like to have it always? <sighs> You almost did that correctly, but a bit of diarrhea actually has to come out of your mouth and drool down your chin to be perfectly accurate. That's fair. That's fair. I apologize for the lack of diarrhea. Diarrhea is a word that I had the hardest time spelling for the longest time uh, because I never really looked at it. And I was I never really looked. At, you never really looked at diarrhea. Uh, I never really looked at how it was spelled. So once I did, I was like, oh. That makes sense how it's spelled. But it's actually a pretty tricky word to spell. Oh, that's sad. Give me that two life. Three, four, five, six. So you just can't block my Palaka worm.
All right, so now you're just dead next turn. That's the first time you've seen that worm ever? This bookcase is going to do some serious work on this Palaka worm. Unless they go... Uh-oh. Don't take vengeance on my worm. God, they always take vengeance on my worm. I mean, they had a they had a luminous bonds for it. This is round three, right? We're one one. These rounds are going real quick. Don't care about you. I like plummet when they have Pegasus uh, courser because then you can just like shoot the the creature that they're Pegasus coursering, or you can just shoot the Pegasus courser itself. Do we see anything else to naturalize? I don't think so. I'm just going to bring in one plummet. And call it a day. Our first round opponent fucked up. <laughs> yeah, Russ talk this, buddy. God, they always have it. They always have the isolate against my 17 Russ talks. Are you ever going to use the scepter, or is it a trash rather that you were forced? To oh, this is tra this is just a, like a really late pick. Um, so you have to put three counters on it, which is twelve mana plus the original three to cast it. So you actually have to spend 18, 4, 12, 15 mana before it does anything, and I think that's just way too much. Plus, in response to you putting the third counter for, in response to you spending your final four mana, they could just kill it. Which is pretty bad. Like, I actually don't like running the planes out until we have to so that we can ramp up to that five green in case we draw Giganto Man. I'm Giganto Man, Giganto Man, turn me on, I'm no Giganto Man. You know what? I'll bite this time. I didn't see any, any pump spells last game. I think you're just bullshitting me. Yeah. No more fr no more freebies for you, buddy. Gigantosaur one time. With this bookcase, it's like a two-turn clock. Dang it. I thought that was it. I got real excited. It was not. So, first strike, first strike. Um, yeah, I'll just take this. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. And we're definitely in a position. I, I don't like, I wish this didn't tap. I wish it said use this ability only like once per turn instead of tapping. Because like, having to tap your defender to use the ability is pretty bad but then again if you didn't have to tap this and you can just pay three every turn to make a guy unblockable even if just one like that's a pretty strong ability 
It can also say, like, at the beginning of combat on your turn, you may pay three and make a creature unblockable. One time. All right. Well, lands are looking good. Looking good. So if we attack for four, we got two blockers. We got block here, block here. Yeah, we're just going to attack with this guy. Well, this seems good for us. I feel like I'm winning this race. I changed my mind. All right. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, ten to five. We're on a two turn clock. Well, we're definitely bringing in the other plummet now. Plummet. Big plums. Oh boy. Well, we're not dead. Actually, we, I mean, we can't rise anything yet. We don't have any black mana, so I don't know how we're doing that. That'll do, pig. What would our draw have been? Oh, wow. Oh, magic online. If it's so obvious, I don't know why that's that's not really a great play then, right? Because we just lose a 4-2. That's actually a reasonable clock in hopes that we draw a black source, only one of which comes into play untapped. Yep, definitely bringing in the other plummet. Gerper guide, you can get the hell out of here. Naturalize could also be good. Now we saw... we. I mean, we, we still just saw the bonds, but... That sounds great. It's a great success. Marky Peach, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right. This hand it seems great. Foul Orchard. Eh, forest is fine. I never look at the cards we put on the bottom. I should look. I always expect them to be shown somewhere, but they're not. Yeah, this is fine. Is there a way to make all the cards show up with white border? Uh, put white border cards in your deck? This is a lot of... Uh Oh, 
Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like that they show up at certain positions face up, because you know what they're you know they're there. If we draw a land, I'm gonna go. I'm definitely recollecting Elvish Rejuvenator. I like that they're missing a color. Oh, well, that's a thing. Oh, that's also a thing. Well, that seems good. So they rise their bone dragon and we recollect the plummet. <laughs> It's just bone dragon battles for a day. Oh, interesting. Why well, get rid of the tapped one? Intriguing. Where's the fifth land here? Can we get a fifth land for crying out loud? I want to bonds this guy. Float on by. So if we hit a land, we can recollect for Rejuvenator, hit another land, and... Oh. I see. Well, we're definitely killing that guy. Well, we hit the land. All right. <laughs> recollect has been pretty good these games. I see. Should have got Luminous Bonds back, I guess. I think we're still fine here, actually. Palaka Worm, four, five, six. Any land gets us Palaka Worm, so. All right, we just got to survive two turns. Trample? Yep, it's pretty good. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, that's great. That's great. I wanted the creature in the graveyard because that seems better against things like Invoke if they brought that in. Um, it's actually unbelievable. Like, we're just dead now. I guess we have a second plummet, so that's an option, but... actually don't understand how we lost this game. <sighs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, this draft did not go as well as we planned. Apparently, if I chose Luminous Bonds instead of Plummet, uh, we would have been in much better shape because they're Abnormal Strength. Abnormal Strength, is that what it's called? Abnormal Endurance would have uh, been negated. And, um, I don't know. I'm still wondering about this Druid of the Cowl play where they take vengeance on that guy. I guess they did see Palaka Worm, so they know that's going to get us there, but yeah. All right. Well, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to support the content, feel free to check out the Twitch and the Patreon links below. As usual, slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.